Soldiers, Friendly Neighborhood Spoon here, and today we are going to unbox one massive Hot Toys figure with a B-A-R-C -B speeder. Not one of them. Ugh. <laughs> Two of them. We've got one with Commander Oppo, and we've got another with a heavy weapons clone trooper with a sidecar attached to the... Uh, to the BARC speeder. And I'm gonna get this out of the way now. BARC stands for Biker Advanced Recon Commando. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it sounds badass and it makes sense inside the Star Wars world. So I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna roll with it because these things look super badass and I cannot wait to unbox them. So let's dig into the one with Commander Oppo in it first, actually. And now, I gotta preface Ugh. the rest of this video. If you are looking for a more like detailed review that dives into the uh, figure. Oh, I need my unboxing knife. I'll be right back. Can you give me my red knife on my white shelf behind my chair, please? Thank you. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. So let me preface this unboxing video with uh, the fact that this isn't going to be like a super detailed in-depth review. I'm just going to treat this more like an unboxing first impressions kind of video. Whoa, that is sick. Okay, wait, let's start off with the box art at the front. Nice and simple, Star Wars branding, your standard Hot Toys box, but a little bit bigger and a little bit wider, of course, to accommodate the vehicle. We've got Commander Oppo chilling on his BARC speeder. Easy branding on the sides and on the back, we just have the credits and the warnings and other information for Hot Toys distribution and all that. I'm already so excited to like figure out how I'm gonna display this. Ooh, so the first thing we get when we open the box is we are greeted with an insert with a dope, dope shot of Commander Oppo in his, uh, on his speeder. We have, I believe it's an ARF trooper on an ATRT walker and a regular clone trooper rocking the Ahsoka, the orange Ahsoka helmet. It's pretty sick. I think this one is slated to release a little bit later on and I do believe I have it on pre-order. So I'm going to have one of those on display as well. And I'm very excited for it because it's going to look really, really freaking cool. Okay, right off the rip inside this thing, it is huge and it is badass. Oh my gosh, completely makes sense as to why this uh, box is so freaking massive. Okay, so we have the figure outside of the box. I'm assuming that the accessories for both figures are going to be identical, so we'll just go through those once. Let's get this side out, open this up. Each figure comes with a set of hands, two pistols, one blaster rifle, it looks like we have uh, two pairs of hands, or three pairs if you're gonna include the one that's already attached to the figure. Two of them that have handlebar holders, and then two of them that are left and right, of course, for the blasters or the rifle. And then we have the main figure, Commander Oppo. I like to leave one side of tape on so that you could get a nice hinge on the box so that it still closes and it's still nicely attached to it and it doesn't completely fall off whenever you're trying to, to repackage the box and whatnot. Commander Oppo looks badass. Commander Oppo is freaking sick. The shoulder pads, the holsters, and he's got a little few tears on the back of his, uh, what is this called? I don't wanna call it a skirt, but we're gonna call it a skirt for now. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments because I need to learn something, obviously. It's kind of like what Captain Rex has on the back of his waist. But yeah, if you know the formal title of that, let me know. I'd love to learn it. This is so cool. I love the clone troopers, especially from the 501st Legion. That is my favorite design and colors. And they were they were still good guys. I'm a sucker for the, for the protagonists. We'll just put him here for now. I'm planning out a uh, Clone Wars display upstairs inside our, mine and my wife's office. And that's where I do my streaming and my gaming. Shout out to uh, youtube.com slash at 
Spooner, Spooner plays with no E. That should be up and running at the same time this video is up and running. Uh, and you should be able to see part one of my Marvel's Spider-Man 2 gameplay. I feel like, oh, there's tape. No wonder there's a struggle. That's embarrassing. Is there tape on this side too? There is. At least I know what's gonna happen in the next box. Okay, there we go. I was like, it's never this hard to take the blister pack off the top. Okay, holy smokes. I believe these are accessories for the display stand. Comes with a basic figure stand, Commander Oppo with the Star Wars branding. Very nice, very simple, very clean. It comes with a rock base. Ooh, this is gonna, this would be a good base to just use to shoot photography for any figure, whether it's one of my Star Wars hot toys or one of my Marvel superhero Star Wars, uh, Star Wars, Marvel superhero hot toys figures. Ooh, this is a nice base to shoot with. I'm always jealous whenever I see, oh, whenever I see like a, an amazing toy photographer whip out like their incredible dioramas and stuff like that. I wish I had the energy, space, and time to, to either make them or store them or put them together. Holy smokes. So this is my first ever Hot Toys 1-6 scale vehicle. And I don't know why I didn't expect this kind of quality love and care to like go into it. This is so freaking dope. It's got a lot of wear and tear and then so much texture like they do on the clone troopers armors. I, lo I have always loved that about the way Hot Toys does their clone troopers because it's not as clean as other toys of the clone troopers have it. There's a little bit of texture, there's like grain and and like they look like they've been through battles, they've been through war. This is incredible. I was wondering if the seat had a bit of cushioning to it. No, it's not squishy, it's all plastic, it's all hard plastic. But the way these handles go up and down, oh my gosh. Everything feels so tight, like nothing is like Nothing is a loose piece of plastic or anything like that. These foot placements articulate as well. This is gorgeous. This is incredible. I will always, always be a fan of Star Wars vehicle design, whether it is a speeder, whether it is a bike or a starfighter or a starship. I, oh, this is so dope. This is so cool. Okay, let's figure out how to get it standing on the base. I'm assuming this, here, let's put this back in here. Let's get the base. I think this probably screws into here. Sure looks like it, sure feels like it. It's locking in. And then this then goes onto this oops, hexagonal key. So maybe we'll just have it go in through the center for now. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That looks incredible. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Okay, so it appears I was wrong about these. These are actually blasters that belong, I mean, obviously they look like freaking guns that belong on the speeder. So it comes with a a figure holder as well for Commander Oppo if you're gonna use the basic base display stand. So let's get these four out. Whip this out. Okay, instruction sheet. Let's make sure we don't break anything. So we have four identical cannons that attach to the speeder. Two on the front at the bottom over here and two at the top on the sides over here. I just need to find the connections. Oh, I see them. Okay, so the hexagonal base is only meant to go under here below the seat, even though there's another one on this end. But I'm assuming it might work with if you were to have two or something like that. Oh, the foot pedals also extend outward too, so that's pretty dope. Oh, the flaps have movement too. So yeah, I'm planning to have a Clone Wars, I don't know if I finished my thought, 
I'm planning to have a Clone Wars shelf display upstairs in my office where I stream. Oh, I didn't finish my thought because I went on a tangent and plugged my gaming channel. Uh, that, yeah, in the office where I stream, I'm planning to have a display there. I currently have just like a messy Star Wars display with a bunch of helmets that don't really tell a story. So I'm planning to bring up these figures and bring them upstairs and then, and then I'll have room because it's a bigger shelf to display a BARC speeder. I'm hoping that maybe the two of them will fit because seeing them out right now looks so badass and two of them having like being on either side just shooting out that way would look so freaking cool. So I'm hoping the shelf will be big enough for it. So let's bring this back. I can't wait to put Commander Oppo in it because that's going to look so freaking cool. Okay. So are they identical? All four of them are identical. Oh no. Oh no, they're not. They are two different kinds. They have two different barrel designs. One has uh, some rivets over here, if that's what you'll call it. And then one is just a, a clean straight barrel. So I need to find out which one is which and what goes where. Okay, I just double checked my, my MacBook and the two with the rivets, let me take this off here for now, off of the display base. The two with the rivets go, oh shoot, towards the front, get in there. All right, one in. Oh, <laughs> it always scares me when Pieces like this are meant to be super snug inside the figure and like it's obviously an expensive uh, collectible so you don't want you want to put enough pressure that it goes inside but you don't want to do so much pressure that it like breaks look at that look at that that looks so freaking rad oh my gosh okay let's get the other two on Oh my God, this makes me so nervous. Oh, that one slid in so much nicer. This one's a bit tougher. I need to get towel of some sort to, there we go. Whenever I have to do hot toys operations. Oh my God. Okay. So this extends, oh, just a little bit. All right. So is this what little girls feel like when they get like a car, brand new car for their Barbies? Cause I totally get it. And now I want all the toy vehicles. <laughs> I totally freaking get it. Or when, when little boys get like their tanks and their helicopters and their choppers and stuff. I think my final pose with him is gonna be like a, oh see, I don't even, I'd be like too scared to like put the, uh, the handlebar holder ones. But this hand clearly does not work with this handle. Totally understand what my niece feels like now when she gets a freaking Barbie playhouse or or like a, that really big pink Jeep. Oh, that's rad. I eventually want him to have like a blaster and he'll hold one hand and then he'll have his blaster on the left or something like that. Oh my goodness. And it fits so nicely. Ugh, I love the design of the speeder. It's so good. All right, let's take out the heavy weapons clone trooper real quick. Set this to the side. Yeah, I wonder if I'll have room on the shelf. I'm kind of worried that I won't because these are quite long, these speeders. So we'll see. Ooh, slight variation to the key art inside for this one. We have the same ARF trooper on the ATRT. We have a heavy clones trooper. Heavy Weapons Clones Trooper over here with a chain gun. We've got Commander Oppo chilling over here. And then this is the Heavy Weapons Clone Trooper that's in the box. And then we just have another uh, 501st Clone Trooper on the sidecar. Oh, that looks so red. Oh, this sidecar's got a gun on it. Wow! That's so cool. So same packaging. It looks like they come with, oh, similar accessories, but not completely identical. Oh, that's nerve wracking. This one's heavier. I believe an identical set of hands. Instead of two handguns, like the like Commander Oppo has, he has just one and one rifle. 
And then he also comes with a little satchel, I'm assuming to carry bombs and other thermal detonators and other tactical equipment like that. I was also just really excited to get more uh, clone trooper variations because I think the clone troopers are so rad, especially after watching uh, Star Wars Clone Wars. I fell in love with them so much. I mean, I guess that's the series that everyone fell in love with the clone troopers. Oh, badass. I especially love the clone troopers that have the visors on them. It just looks so rad. It's just such a cool design element. So clean. Again, like you would expect with the other clone troopers and Commander Oppo, the paint application and the look of the armor and the leather and the shoulder pads and the holsters and everything looks incredible. Just such good storytelling with just the paint application alone on the armor. Love that. Let's cut the tape off that I know that exists. Oh, interesting. I knew that it came with the... Obviously, you knew that it came with the figure and the sidecar and the BARC speeder. But there are some other elements to this display. And so he comes with his basic heavy weapons clone trooper stand or base with the Star Wars branding and the Star Wars logo. Let's take out the manual so I can uh, get a detailed look on how to put everything together and not ruin everything. Because that's what you're supposed to do if you're a smart person. Look at instructions and don't break anything. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So we've got the assembling of the cannons that we know how to do, the foot pedals that go in and out, and we also have the assembling of the sidecar, a standard display mode. Oh, I see. Okay, so the extra pieces make sense as it is to show us how to put together the, the display for the BARC speeder and the sidecar. So it looks like the bases are not identical because this one needs to be a bit more centered, I believe, so that it can hold the, the weight of the whole speeder with the sidecar and have it balanced out nicely. So we've got some acrylic clear pieces to put the display together that we'll set aside for now. We have the sidecar. Oh, so sick. <laughs> it's so sick! Uh, if I only have space to display one of these uh, speeders, it's gonna have to be the one with the sidecar. That way we can have one of the, of the clone troopers just rolling side by side with another. So sick! It's so clean. It's just a small design element, but it makes me really happy. It's just this white circle here, spray painted on the blue. I like to think that the clone troopers painted and decorated all of their vehicles all on their own and it makes me really happy that someone there was like an artistic clone trooper out there that was like yo let's put let's let's paint up some teeth on the on the on the side panels over here that would look so dope and then just to have like a little contrast to these two racing stripes let's let's throw in some circles i bet you anything though the designer the artist who did design this was inspired by racing cars because usually the big circle on the side of the car would have the number of the car on it and then obviously the racing stripes dude sick <laughs> okay let's take that out let's get the blasters out these ones are identical to the ones that commander oppo has and then also this gunner attaches to the sidecar so the clone trooper can sit on top and just and post up and just gaga 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 you know what i mean so this is a arm i believe to attach the sidecar to the main speeder so let's lift this up we have the display arm and that's everything okay Clean up the space a little bit. So let's first start off with putting the guns, turrets, the cannons on the speeder. Oh, I just realized that it has a letter saying right side, but is it right side facing this way or right side facing the other way? I'm taking it as a sign that the left one went in really smoothly because that's supposed to be that side. Does the instructions have any tell? Wonder if anyone else noticed. No, they don't say. 
Oh, and there's an inverse display mode. Oh, interesting. Where the sidecar can attach a bit further back. I probably won't show that in this video. And the sidecar faces the other way so that you can uh, watch the flank, obviously. Okay, cool. No, we're just gonna do the standard display way. There we go. Oh, thank God. This one's R, which I would put on this side then. It went in nicely. And this one's L. <laughs> and that went in nicely. Okay, sick. They have a little bit of, like they don't lock in too nicely. So you gotta kinda have to strain them out on your own. There's a little bit of a give still, even when you put them in. Okay, let's attach the sidecar now. The gunner goes on top, obviously. Facing out the front, nice and simple. Oh, this rotates too, very clean. This can move forward and backward. Yep. Oh God, that first initial, like, get the plastic that's stuck together to, to just sort of unlock so you can have that articulation is so scary. Uh, and then apparently this can go up as well. Oh, that was nice and simple. Okay. So first, I'm going to attach this piece to the sidecar. Oh, look at this arm that swings out. Okay, this piece goes in here. And then these two, this is crazy. This is so sick. Am I supposed to go in under this way? Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> this is so nerve wracking. Yeah, there we go. Might help if I just flipped it. There we go. Oh my God, okay. God, that's so scary. That's so scary. And then this locks into here. Yo. <laughs> Yo! Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's so freaking rad. I don't even know how else to call it. It's just so cool. We're about to go to freaking war, man. This makes me like actually want to play with these Hot Toys figures like I used to play with uh, like little soldiers and stuff like that. You know what I mean? When you're kids. When we were kids, just like pew pewing all over the place and and just killing the bad guys and stuff. Or not killing, because we're heroes. Okay, so this goes in the base then. This screws in. Oh, I see. Okay, so these two pieces, this circle and the taller cylinder stand, these are for if you were to do the inverse version where the sidecar faces the other way. But because we're going this way, this then goes into these two pieces. Oh no, there we go. All right, it's fine. And then this goes on top. Bruh, bro. Oh, that's so cool. They look so freaking dope. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. Okay, let me get this manual out of the way. Toss that over there. And then let's get the heavy weapons trooper on the bike as well. Look how clean that looks. Sorry, if it looks like I'm looking past you guys, it's because I'm looking at the uh, the monitor that's just above my camera, just so I can keep an eye on the shot and make sure everything is looking good. I'm so stoked. This looks so freaking rad. Now I gotta get another clone trooper off the shelf so that I can uh, get it up in the in the sidecar. Just wrap the handle real quick. Bring this hand over, pretend. I wonder what the difference is between these bottom handles and the other handles at the top. Someone wants to let me know what those are too. Ugh, this figure is so rad. Now I gotta get a clone trooper. Let's pull the one in the back behind Ahsoka. While I'm here, can I tell you guys how happy I was to see Captain Rex in the season one of Ahsoka? Oh my God, so happy to see them. Let's get this clone trooper. Let's get his jetpack off. You'll get it back, I promise. My God, this is so rad. There you go. Dude. <laughs> Dude. And I think that's it. I'm so happy with these. These are so badass. These are so wicked. If you enjoyed, please do the thing and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you again so much for watching. I have been Spoon. I love you. Stay spicy and I'll see you real soon.